Please join me in welcoming our friend and ally, Attorney General Eric Schneiderman, to the stage. In public, Eric Schneiderman framed himself as an advocate for women. He sued Harvey Weinstein. It's just really astonishing. And he pushed for laws to help victims. We're all here today to announce a significant step in our efforts to ensure that all survivors of sexual assault are protected. Then came the New Yorker article. Stories from four women saying he slapped, demeaned, choked, and threatened them. It was really a moment of, wow, that's unfortunate. Robin Wiktorski Reynolds of Crisis Services was disappointed, but not that surprised. It is a real time of reckoning for our culture, for how we talk about relationships, consent, how we raise our children. For Mary Murphy at the Family Justice Center, the New Yorker article left her nearly speechless. I think the hypocrisy is stunning, but when you get right down to it, it's textbook domestic violence on the part of a controlling, intimate partner. Schneiderman says he never engaged in non-consensual sex and never assaulted anyone, but his four accusers paint a much different picture of physical and emotional abuse. They have joined a movement, the same movement Eric Schneiderman claimed to champion. I do think it's a big turning point. It causes me still a lot of pause because it's happening quickly. I just want it to last and I want it to have a permanent, impactful change to really affect lives and to prevent this from happening to the next generation. And if you're watching this and you're a victim yourself of assault or domestic violence, there are resources in Western New York to help you. The confidential 24-hour hotline for crisis services is 716-834-3131, and the Family Justice Center's number is 716-558-7233. Danny Speedwalk, Channel 2 News.